What early humans ate? Neanderthals definitely ate fruit. Paleoanthropologists have found evidence of this. Bits of date were stuck in the teeth of a 40,000-year-old hominid. They were discovered by modern humans. In fact, some of today's fruits have likely existed for millennia. Archaeologists have uncovered evidence of 780,000-year-old figs. Olives, plums, and pears also existed in the Paleolithic era. The oldest evidence of grapes is 7 million years old. Apple trees blanketed Kazakhstan 30,000 years ago. Oranges were common in China. Wild berries grew in Europe. None of these fruits were identical to the modern varieties. But they would have been perfectly edible. Vegetables are a different story. Most vegetables we eat today were bred selectively. Wild carrots, for example, are unpalatable for humans. Wild legumes are often toxic. It's not clear why fruits have changed less than vegetables. It might have something to do with their evolutionary purpose. Plants developed sugary fruits millions of years ago. This attracted sweet-toothed animals. They ate the fruits and disseminated the seeds. By the time hominids evolved, fruits were widely available. But vegetables gained nothing from being eaten. So they didn't experience the same pressure to evolve tasty roots or leaves. Ancient man also ate plants that you can find at a grocery store. These included edible ferns and cattails. Of course, early humans also ate meat and marrow. Their diet was probably similar to the diet of modern chimpanzees. They were omnivorous, eating fruit, leaves, flowers, insects, and meat. Some early humans likely ate seeds and nuts. This is suggested by their tooth morphology. Meat came a bit later, about 2.6 million years ago. This was a unique development among primates. First of all, early humans used flaked stone tools. Secondly, they hunted animals larger than themselves. Eating meat was crucial to the evolution of our ancestors' brains. Calorie-dense meat and marrow provided Homo erectus with extra energy. This helped fuel a larger brain. Digesting a higher quality diet was also an advantage. Plant fiber is bulky and not as calorie dense as meat. This dietary shift allowed early humans to have much smaller guts. This also freed up more energy for the brain. The brain requires 20% of a modern human's energy when resting. By comparison, an ape's brain requires only 8%. Homo erectus left its ancestral environment of Africa. Eventually, it spread through much of the old world. This human species avoided other large predators. It was a forager, a scavenger, and an opportunistic hunter. Over time, Homo erectus evolved smaller jaw muscles. This suggests that its food became less tough. It was probably the first human to start cooking food. Thus, Homo erectus was the first species to discover fire. Fire presents clear advantages to a species diet. Cooking allows a greater range of foods to be eaten. It also improves the caloric content of both animal protein and plants. Homo erectus may have also used tools to slice up their food even before that. That made it easier to chew.